Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and welcome back to Dark Cloud. It is time once again to head back into the shipwreck and be cool and underwater and in a shipwreck. Because we gotta save the world by going into the shipwreck. Shipwreck. I'm good at video introductions, aren't I? I'm really good at them. Uh-oh, there does not appear to be any Atla here, which means it is probably a limited floor. Or not. Oh, it is a mid-floor. Okay, gotcha. Captain! Somebody's here! Heh heh heh. Any landlubber that trifles with my ship won't leave alive. Hey, all ye hearties. Feed them to the sharks. Uh, Cap, uh, he's over there. Ah, I knew that, you fool. That way, feed him to the sharks. Okay, so it is not what I thought it was, and instead of, like a checkpoint floor with a bunch of guys to fight. And that's the cannon I was talking about. The pirate's chariot, as it were. I thought there was a cannon elsewhere, I think. But this is the cannon. They're really kind of annoying. They eat through your durability, I think, pretty easily. And uh, they like to back up away from you so you can't attack them. And, well, we got the hook. Was there... Uh, yeah, okay, so there was another reason why this is kind of a checkpoint floor. Uh, so this is our next sort of gate. There is a crystal with a red beam. Maybe it has something to do with opening this door. This is where we need our newest party member. By switching to Lana. And going to her um, weapons here, we need... Let's read it again. One more time. It is a crystal with a red beam. Maybe it will react to some spell. R2 to change view and cast spell, which is actually not something I think I've done before. We can go into a first person mode. And we can fire magic this way. I don't think we can move. We can move the camera around. But that's about it. Uh, what we need to do is we need to match the element with that, uh, particular crystal. Which in this case, red, means fire. It can be any of the colors that match the different elements, those crystals. Um, it could be fire. Red for fire, bl uh, blue for ice, yellow for thunder, green for wind, and pink for holy, I believe. If I'm remembering that color co correlation correctly. And also, I'll think about it. Yeah, we can do the first person view with our kitty too. And we can even see the slingshot. That's actually kind of cool. I don't think I've ever done this before. <laughs> you barely ever need the first person. All the characters can go in first person, but only the projectile characters can uh, attack while in first person. So, uh... That's cool. It's honestly to the point that I forget the first person is a thing. Which is why I did not mention it at all until this point. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's our next type of gate, the crystal gates. And now we can proceed onward. Huzzah! Look at her pose all gracefully. And it's still really weird that we were on floor 9, I think that was, and we didn't need our new party member until then. And yet... We got her really, really ahead of time. It's a little weird. I also just realized she is rather thirsty. So let's go ahead and give her some water. Ow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the chariots... 
are always a bit of a thing. They're rather powerful, they're rather durable. They really, really like to back up away from you. And it makes them that much harder to deal with. So really you want to kind of back them up into a corner without breaking your weapons like I almost just did. Honestly, normally with like really durable enemies, I would recommend using projectiles, but considering they also fight with projectiles, it makes it rather difficult to do damage to them without taking a lot of damage. Also, there's a pool of water here, and I really didn't have to waste my uh, water just now. It's fine. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a thing. We got one of these here. Um, I believe we were trying to rank up one of these. Yes, we were trying to rank up this. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I should, I don't know if those can break your weapons, but we should probably repair this anyway. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that ended up not doing anything for us. Yep, well, I also need to switch back to Link. Huzzah! Cool beans. We got a sign. There's always room for more signs. There's a captain on the other side of this. And we have a button to press. So this does mean now, with the crystal part of this active, we do have the potential to encounter even more different kinds of barricades all at once. Oh, you stop. Stop it. Stop backing up away from me. <laughs> this place just loves the enemies that tango dance away from you. Yeah. Honestly, trying to corner them is the best option. It just makes taking care of them that much easier. But you just really have to watch your weapon durability around them. These guys, these guys are not much of a problem, still. Got our map, very nice. We do not have a flapping fish, so we cannot go to the back floor quite yet. Doesn't look like there's much of a point to going here. And there's also another area that way we did not go to explore, so let's go do that quick. Instead of having to run all the way back here, I'd say this is a good idea. Alright, alright. Hello, Captain. Ow, you stabbed me. That's very rude of you. Rotten fish acquired. The rotten fish is the flapping fish after it goes bad. Yes, you can just get them, which is rather dumb. And I don't think it sells for much money, so we're just gonna throw this out. <laughs> After all, who would want to buy a rotten fish? I'm also noticing there's another one of the uh, sigils in the corner here. Can I get free weapon levels up, please? I need synth spheres. I need all the synth spheres. Nope, it is it determined to break my weapons. <laughs> Unfortunate. I don't think I like that very much, if I'm being perfectly honest. It is a bad time. Just a bad time in general. Though we did find a push cart full of fruit. Cool. Maybe we can drive a car through it. That sounds like fun. I want to drive a... I guess it's a, like a movie cliche to have something crash through a cart full of fruit. But how much fun would that actually be? And just have fruit fly everywhere. That would be a lot of fun. I think they did that on Mythbusters. That was a that was a ton of fun to watch. <laughs> and we have a push cart that is not fruit related apparently. That's disappointing. Who just wants a regular push cart? I don't think I appreciate that that much. Should probably recover everybody's thirst and junk here. 
There we go. Alright, what else are we dealing with? We can go back this way and explore the rest of the dungeon. Uh, or at least this particular floor of the dungeon, rather. We still have a ways to go before we have explored the entirety of this dungeon. A uh, sunshade, very cool. A guy in the hallway, not cool. Take that. Got our hook, and we can level up our weapon. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and do a little bit of an upgrade, heck yeah. Now, build up. Stats are fine. Fire. Fire and rock. That rock is still going to be kind of a problem. Definitely kind of still a problem. But, at the very least, we have easy access to these now, so we can load that up with some firepower. Quite literally firepower. And it looks like there's the grindy gears in the floor. Be careful, kitty cat. Whoa, there's a lot of dudes here. There's three of these guys, and their sounds kind of piled on top of each other. It made a made a bit surprised me a bit, if I'm being perfectly honest. And he was getting a little too close for comfort. Uh, we got what we got? Ice, 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 baby. Okay, and another outlaw here. Huzzah! It's Phil. Good job. You made it, Phil. You made it into the magic gym. Alright, I don't quite appreciate you. All of these enemies and their backing up. I think I ran by a treasure chest. Um, might as well use our new friend. There we go. Get Lana a little more use. And this is... What are you? I don't know. We'll find out. Right now. It's Basker's store. That's cool. I don't quite remember who Basker is. Hound of the Basker store. And it looks like that's all the Atla here. Um, okay, cool. Neat. There's just dudes to fight now. I'm okay with that. Take that, take that, and take that. And uh, everyone back up. Please lock on to these guys. I will throw as many things as you as I possibly can in order to be the winner. Get out of here. Couple more treasure chests. Found a holy. And what else? A Drance Feather. Very nice. Always can use more Drance Feathers. And, well, that's probably going to be it for this floor, I'd say. Uh, switch to Kitty Cat. And... Off we go. To the next floor, please. Um. Yeah, let's keep going. We got plenty of time left. I don't think we have too much more we can, like, construct right now. Don't come near me. I don't appreciate you. Your long range. That scares me. A little sad I can't shoot these guys through the shelves. I guess that would make way too much sense. Cool. 
Neat. I like it. We slingshotted some dudes. It's pretty impressive. The exit's right here. Awesome. And another hammer switch. Which is interesting. Nope. You need to... Stop backing up into the hallway. Go away. Yeah, wow. Those guys do eat up the weapon durability quite a lot. Like, quite a lot. Alright, alright. You like my technique? Sidestep, attack, sidestep, attack. It's very creative. We can leave already if we want. But we don't want to. Because we got more stuff to find. Heck yeah. Revival powder, very cool. Haven't had to revive anyone in a little while. Ship cabin key, okay. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. I probably did. Big chest. Hello? You are a king mimic. Alright, alright. I think we're, we're fine. We're fine. Should repair, though. Repairing is good. Repairing is a good thing. Did I ever... Yeah, I added stuff to this. I forgot if I did or not. And this is the regular... Uh, key gate. Take that. Take that. I think that's the first Atla we've seen, which is interesting. <laughs> we've been on this floor for a short while now. But that's fine. Oh, there's a dude right there, too. Hi. Pardon me. Susie's store. You can go away. Also, just notice your health is rather low, Link. Should probably keep an eye on that. But that's what having four characters is for. So we don't have to use our healing items on them. And eventually, we will find our way to a watering hole, which will fix all of our problems. Eventually. Not yet, though. Apparently. I get that. Which gives us... Mark. Good old Mark. Uh, right. Almost have a weapon level up going on Lana's weapon here. Should be able to do that with the next couple enemies. Oh, maybe not you. Alright, you. Gonna have to ask you to not. Stop. Stop backing up. Yeah, that took four. That took four weapon points. I don't like that. I hate that the best way to deal with those guys is physical weapons because, man, they hurt your weapon durability. Ah, <sighs> but, oh well. Now, uh, we've apparently wandered all the way to a dead end now, so we need to go all the way back and see if we can't, uh, you know get the rest of the stuff here. It's just like all gonna be shoved into one room over here probably. Or not. Apparently there just wasn't a lot to get here. Take that and that. No you don't. Gonna have to gas you to go away. Oh hi. Uh, I hope I just didn't waste weapon points, but uh, whatever. Upgrade! Hooray! And, let's see, I think we were going the, the top row, yeah, because we were doing holy. 
I mean, both of them require holy. But whatever. If I'm recalling correctly, let's just put some holy on here. A lot of holy. Heck yeah. Either way, that works for me. And hey, I didn't waste the points. You go away. There was no water on this whole on this uh floor. That's odd. That's odd and confusing, I just realized. Yeah, I know, I'm getting thirsty. It's fine. I'm not going to be hanging around here much longer. I don't need to waste my water. In fact, I don't have a lot of water in my inventory right now. I don't think. Oh, oh whatever. Go ahead and get this. Lamp. And now I think we should be good to uh, exit for a little while and go take care of stuff in town. So use the hook, uh, and we leave, and I take a sip of tea. Ah, refreshing. Let's get the heck out of here. I suppose it would be a good time to check around the docks for any uh, new treasures popping up. Like this one. Fruit of Eden. Very cool. Always could use more of those. With all these characters and such. As your party grows, you definitely do have to manage your uh, power-up items a little bit and really determine who needs it the most. You can use... I mean, we've been trying to keep things fairly even so far, but you can use things like their overall defense points and things. Got a gourd, cool. Uh, to determine, like, who would get a, should get a Fruit of Eden ahead of the others, you know? If you have a lower defense on a specific character, it can make more sense to give them the Fruit of Edens first. In fact, let's go ahead and do a little bit of that, shall we? Just got a Fruit of Eden and a Gourd. Everyone except Lana is at 120, so we'll just do that for now. And Gourd, you also need this. Woo. Honestly, saving gourds, I th don't think there's any real need to immediately use, like, the power-up items or anything like that. So saving gourds and Fruit of Edens for dungeons for emergency heals and things like that, uh, that theoretically should work. But I just like to kind of use them to get them out of the way. Anyway, let's see. We do have Phil. Uh, can... Phil, go anywhere, though. I assume no, considering all these locations are named after people. I'm assuming Phil has an area of his own somewhere. Uh, we can load up some of these, though. Just sort of place them and get them out of the way, I guess. Like that. Um. Yep. Yeah, just go ahead and put that there. Why not? We can move things around. Nobody's home, but we can take a look around. This is definitely a building. Yes, sir. Don't know if it's really worth it to go inside yet. But there are items here to take. Another gourd. And some premium water. And a sea killer. Cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and look inside. Just raid this person's home while they're not home. Another gourd. Okay. And looks like there's not much else here at the moment. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Yep, 
You're still here. Did any other power-up items pop up? I would like to know. Hello? You have things? Do you have things for us to take? No? I guess not. I suppose no. Yeah, I just take another look around the places. There seem to be a lot of chests popping up all of a sudden, so... Like this one? Fish candy, heck yeah. Uh, we have not seen Lana's defense item yet. I am now realizing. I'm sure one will pop up eventually. Anteku amulet, okay. Alright, alright. There definitely seems to be quite a few items showing up all of all of a sudden. Sea killer, okay. It is handy, there are several fishies that we have to fight. Bag is full. That's not handy at all. Uh, let's use these gourds, I guess. Might as well just get your thirst points caught up with everybody else's. Woohoo. And where'd that fish candy go? There it is. Kitty. Yay. Fruit of Eden acquired. Okay. Uh, alright. Sup. Don't mind me. Just poking around. Seeing if I can't find anything to pilfer. Sea killer hiding in the corner. Gotcha. All of a sudden, seems to be a lot of sea killers around, too. And the last place is King's Place. Holy. Indeed. Oh, we are changing to dusk. Neat. Gotta go around the pool. Ah, there we go. Witch Parfait. That is Lana's defensive item. Give that to her. She has a nice 30 defense now. As for this Fruit of Eden, let's see. Honestly, Darunia has the least defense, so let's give this to him for the moment. Makes sense to me. Okay, alright. Last place to check. Power of Powder, awesome. That is freaking sweet. King, you are the king of having power-up powders in your house for me to take. In fact, was that... What was this on? Plus two, okay. So we just need to level this up one more time, and then we have two power-up powders to use on it. Neat. I appreciate this. I appreciate this quite a lot. Huh. But, well, I guess that's just about everything we need to explore around. We've got, you know, trees we can place, I guess. Like, uh, we can put a tree there, and we can... I don't know. Uh... Not put a tree anywhere else here. We can put some trees here, I guess. That looks nice, I, I, would, I would say. Anyway, we could put some, uh... Trees around the fountain, sure, why not? Make it like a, a little oasis here, a little oasis in the desert, even though we're by the ocean. I don't know. Yay, we did it. Okay, well, we seem to have had some successful uh, checking out of places and items, and we went through the dungeon and we got some cool stuff, and yeah. 
This is this is a place. This is a time. I am probably going to do some shopping off screen and kind of organize my inventory because my healing items and my water and stuff is kind of low. So I guess we'll pick things up after that next time. Just a quick look around to make sure I'm not missing any cool items in here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, cool beans. So, that'll be all for right now. Thank you very much for watching. This is your good friend Sparky signing off, and I will catch you later. I do just love wandering around Queens, though. <laughs>